Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome back to my channel where I talk about my journey to sustainable health and meaningful success. And today I don't really have a lot planned for this video. I just figured I would turn on the camera and talk about my first day at my new job while doing a get ready with me in reverse kind of because I'm getting ready for bed. So I'm just, I'm just going to get real. Um, so first day of work, I woke up late, which was so stressful. <laughs> um, I had a plan to get all cute and everything, and that just really did not work out for me. I ended up getting like just bare minimum makeup on, and then I was like, no, I was really set on wearing eyelashes. So dumb me put eyelashes on anyway, even though I had like nothing on my face so I just kind of looked like this only with like spider legs coming out of my eyeballs and it was really I got back in the car after the work day and um yeah I was not impressed with myself but anyway <laughs> that was my first impression to all of my work people um but yeah, it wasn't actually as overwhelming as I was afraid it was going to be. It was actually pretty underwhelming. So we'll see how it works out. But I think that at least I will be progressing professionally in this job. I really already miss all of my work people, though. Um, had, some had some emotions today, to be honest. So anyway... I think I actually am just realizing that, like, I am just feeling really homesick for a lot of people, even people that kind of weren't really that good for me. Um, like, today, somebody, I don't know, some name popped up on our work email or something, and they had the same last name as somebody from my upline, and um, I suddenly felt really homesick for that particular person um, in my upline and this person hasn't reached out to me. It's not like this person has enriched my life recently and questionably ever, but, um, yeah. So then, um, and then on my, I don't know if it was on my lunch break or if I snuck a peek at my phone and saw a message from a coworker who I just said goodbye to like this weekend. No, see you later because friends friends but anyway um so got me all in my feelings because now I'm feeling like dang I'm I'm really missing people that um that I have moved on from question mark not all of these people have I moved on from obviously I want to still hang out with some people from um, like my previous job and stuff, but I was just super bummed out, man. <laughs> um, but yeah, the work is okay and nobody's smelly there. So I don't have to worry about smelly coworkers. Actually, I ran into, um, somebody from like an old high school pal and he was like, he works there. He's been working there for years. So that's cool. I'm going to be able to catch up with him. So that was, that was a positive, but yeah. <sighs> anyway, that was really it. It's not really a fascinating first day, but, um, yeah, I was very emotional and, um, I called my mom cause it's her birthday today. Happy birthday, mom. <laughs> with Makeup smeared all over my face. Happy birthday. Um, yeah, I called her and I was, I wish her a happy birthday and she's like, how was your first day of work? I'm like, I'm dead inside. So anyway, so many things. Um, but yeah, I also started tracking calories. That's so much fun. I did not really prepare very well though. Um, I was like, I, I packed my lunch ish. I packed like random snacks that I knew what calories they were. But then when I got home, 
I just had some leftovers and and I lost track and I don't know where it all went I just so yeah tomorrow will be a better day um, I have therapy tomorrow so I get to just really really unload oh this stuff is not good for my eye some beauty guru is gonna watch this mo this like video and tell me all the things that I'm doing wrong in my nighttime routine Ugh. <laughs> oh so many things anyway that's really it though that was my that was my first day but I think a really I think a pressing topic that must be addressed at this current moment <laughs> Um, that I would love your input on. By the way, I'm so messy today. Um, if you're a subscriber and you're coming back, welcome back. I'm so happy to see you again. And if you haven't already subscribed, just just do it, man. What are you waiting for? <laughs> um, but in either case, if you have input for me, I would love to see it in the comments about homesickness or just maybe the fear of the unknown making huge changes in your life and being afraid that maybe you have made a huge leap and you actually have no idea whether or not you're going to land on your feet because yeah this girl super struggling <laughs> at this point um I am like one apartment move and legal name change away from it being a completely different person than I was in July. And that is like, oddly enough, not an exaggeration. So, um, I don't know. I'm just feeling stressed and feeling like super lost. I don't know if lost is the word, but just kind of like overwhelmed with all the different changes that I've made. We did sign our lease for another year. So I at least know that I will still be in Southeast Wisconsin for another year. Um, so that is preventing me from making any other huge leaps in my life. Um, but other than that, the world is my oyster, and I actually don't know what to do with that <laughs> at the moment. I'm just going to keep filming my hot mess of myself and um, just hope that it all works out in the end. But I appreciate everybody's encouragement so far, um, especially after my health update. A lot of people actually, like, reached out and were just super super nice about everything so what am i doing oh serum i need my serum um but yeah i know i kind of put it all out there i really did i put it all out there um in my health video but you know i don't have any regrets about that in particular i think <laughs> i think that um, it's, I don't know. I don't know why I don't have any regrets about it. It's not like I don't care what people think. I do care what people think. But I also care more about the fact that there are probably other people out there, um, struggling with very similar issues. Um, and I think if I can just spread a little bit of love and help people feel like they're not as alone um then I will have succeeded and that is how I'm defining my success at the moment spreading love joy and peace so a little bit of love that's my version of loving the world is being open with people and letting them know that they are not alone even if they are a hot mess like myself so, yeah, I think it was a good, I really, but I, I appreciate other people doing the same thing for me in like 
kind of um, reciprocating that openness because you guys have been super real with your struggles after I reached out or after I um, put it all out there. And now I feel like people are actually a lot more genu genuine when you um, initiate with a little bit of your authentic self. So here I am, universe, initiating. <laughs> eh. Anyway, it's all important and this is just me spreading love whilst I spread my night cream. I'm just I'm so attractive <laughs> much love to you all I hope you're having a fantastic week and um, if you're making big choices well you join the club I, I I can only if I were to give advice to myself which I guess that's currently what I'm doing because I actually don't know what I'm talking about. <sighs> so I should probably just listen to myself. It's all going to be okay. Very few decisions are really irreversible-ish. <laughs> this is not comforting to me at all. I'm <laughs> not comforting myself with this advice. <laughs> It's all going to be okay. And none of this is the end of the world. The sun will keep on rising and setting. The world will keep on turning. And if you really screw up so terribly and everything is just messed up in your life, well then, there you go. And then you have a new starting point. <laughs> you can just keep working at it I guess it just you know I feel like it's gonna get better eventually it's all gonna work out in the end one day you'll look back on this and and laugh or maybe these are the good times right you're struggling through every day and one day you will realize that this was actually your peak don't any don't listen to me. I'm not listening to me. We're all good. It's going to be fine. It's all just going to be fine. Tomorrow is another day for new first impressions, for first second impressions. And and it'll you'll be fine. You'll be fine. <sighs> I'll be fine, okay? <laughs> Bye.